lot of my viewers have been asking when it's safe to end this global pandemic. And I've reached out to an expert of experts. His name is Dr. Expert. Uh, thanks so much for uh, being on the show with me. Oh, hello, and thank you for having me, Brooks. Nice to meet you. I understand that you study what other experts say, and you just basically repeat it. So tell me, how do, do we stay safe? Oh, yes, of course. Experts are suggesting 24 different things to stay safe. 24? That sounds like a lot to remember. I don't know. Number one, basically, <laughs> um, you can't leave the house for any reason. Unless you have to, then you certainly can. Right, that's what I've been doing, basically. What about masks? Uh -huh. Masks are useless, except some experts say it will save your life. So you have to wear one. But truthfully, they're useless. Um, but maybe it's mandatory, so we suggest you wear one. Okay, that, that makes sense. What about a store, going to the store? Experts say stores should be closed. Uh, so they are, except for the stores that are open. Right, that's been my experience. Hospitals, should we go to the hospital if we feel sick? You should not go to hospitals unless you have to go there. And the same applies to doctors. You should only go there in case of an emergency, provided you are not sick. It's, mm -hmm. Remember, this is a very deadly virus, but experts also say it's not too scary, except that sometimes it actually leads to a global pandemic. Right, that's what I've been observing. Uh, what about gloves? Is it helpful to wear gloves? Some experts say that gloves are very helpful, but most of us say it won't help at all. Well, when would it be safe to leave the house? The experts say uh, to stay home, but also it's very important, some experts say, to go out. Right. That's essentially what I've been doing. I've been doing both. Uh, what about the food shortages? Should we be worried that there's food shortages? There's no food shortages, uh, I don't think. Um, but in fact, I would say um, when you go to the store, many things are missing. Yeah. Uh, and when you go in there in the evening, but of course not in the morning sometimes. Okay, what about children? Uh, are children... The data shows that children are safe. Yes, of course. It has no effect on children except those that it, it affects uh, directly. What about animals? Uh, animals are not affected at all. Okay. No, of okay, course good. not. But there is uh, a cat that tested positive in Belgium in February uh, when no one had been tested, of course, uh, plus a few tigers here and there. Oh, well, that, that could be... Bad. What about symptoms of the virus? You will have many symptoms when you are sick, uh, but you can also get sick without symptoms. You can have symptoms without being sick and uh, possibly be contagious without having any symptoms. I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, neither do experts, of course. Uh, but they also say it's better to get some fresh air. But you get looked at every time you uh, go outside, of course, when you get fresh air. And most importantly, you shouldn't go to parks or a walk, but certainly don't sit down. Except that you can do that now if you're old, but not for too long. Or if you are pregnant, but not too old.